What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a new video. Now today we are at Historic Auto Attractions in Roscoe, Illinois, and I'm going to do just a little bit different video than normal. Um, we are on location today. We're checking things out. They open for the season April 1st, and if you guys ever get a chance to come and visit this place, you absolutely have to. But people have been asking about JFK things, and they have one of the best collections of JFK memorabilia in the country. So I'm going to show you some of that right now. Now, as we walk in here, you can see the big mural here of JFK getting off the flight in Dallas. And John F. Kennedy and Jackie Kennedy that day, Jackie with her bouquet of flowers, which this is a pretty classic image there. And they actually have one of the roses, one of the rosebuds from that bouquet right here. And the press pass from the man that they got that from, a guy by the name of Jay Watson who was a program director for WFAA-TV in Dallas. But that's pretty cool in itself. And just over here, they have JFK's 1962 Lincoln. He used to visit troops in Fort Stewart, Georgia in November of 1962 during the Cuban Missile Crisis. So he would have sat right back here. And off in the distance, they're working on another display, so hopefully the... Uh, the pounding and nails and all that stuff isn't disturbing or distracting. But over here is the, this is the taxi cab that Lee Harvey Oswald got into after the JFK shooting. Now this is a 1962 Checker Marathon Dallas taxi cab known as the getaway car. Now this is, this is pretty darn cool because the driver's name was William Wayne Whaley and he drove him back to his rooming house and he sat right back in there in this seat. But um, the driver tried to make conversation with Oswald and he would not talk. But that is a really, really neat piece of history right here. And speaking of other neat pieces of history, this is one of the cars that was actually in the presidential motorcade on November 22nd, 1963 in Dallas. This is the car, the Secret Service follow-up car that was behind JFK's car. Now get a good look at this. Now the actual car Kennedy was riding in is at the Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. It was kind of repurposed over time. It was used after the JFK assassination. But here are some photos here of the motorcade. Now that's the one Kennedy was in. This car right in front of us is that car right there. But they have several images from the famous Zapruder film. It's just amazing being able to see this. I mean, this is history right here. And right along here, the runners is where Secret Service agents would have been stationed. And let me show you on the back of this too. People ask how Secret Service would stand on the back of the cars. These fold down so they could stand right there. And another runner along the side. But if you see in there, this is a lot of JFK items in this museum. And this is just a very small portion of the museum. Like right here are Jackie Kennedy's Jackie Kennedy's uh, necklace from the Life magazine shoot. And then in here is Jackie Kennedy's closet. These are various dresses and clothing that were designed by Oleg Cassini for Jackie Kennedy. And I'm using slightly different equipment today than what I would normally do, so hopefully this is okay. But just... She was a very classy first lady and very elegant outfits. Pretty cool. And then we'll keep on moving. Now in here, there's a lot of other various artifacts from JFK. Now this is a bunting that was used on the inaugural platform at the inauguration, January 20th, 1961. The inaugural ball guest packet. Just so much cool stuff here. And if there's anything specifically that you guys see in this video that you want to see more of, let me know and I will do more. Um, I can show you guys a lot more 
we can talk to people in the museum to get more history. Now this is upholstery from the from the actual assassination car. A handful of these went public and it's just it's really neat to be able to see this but it's also kind of creepy history because we all know what happened on that day. You can see the blood stains there. That's the car after that tragedy happened. But so much other stuff here. They have the contents of the briefcase that Kennedy carried with him to Dallas. All this paperwork was in JFK's suitcase. Now this is stuff you're not going to see anywhere else. This was from Evelyn Lincoln, who was JFK's personal secretary. And a lot of this stuff came from her private collection. You have Air Force One press passes. And here are items that were removed from the Oval Office desk after the assassination. If you want to pause this and read any of this stuff, this looks like an itinerary of some type. And these are the eyeglasses worn by Evelyn Lincoln on Air Force One while Johnson was being sworn in. If you see this photo, you've probably seen this before. Evelyn Lincoln. Actually, this was her right back here between LBJ and Jackie. And here is floor from the platform from which he gave this speech here. Just so much history here, it's unbelievable. And this is Kennedy's personal physician's bag that was with him in Dallas. And Evelyn Lincoln's purse with all the contents from Dallas. And I have to show you one thing over here because this is just, it's random, it's cool. But this has always been one of the things that I thought was really neat. This is JFK's golf ball. You can see it has... JFK markings on it. Pretty neat stuff. And from the other side of it, this is Lee Harvey Oswald's wedding suit. Now he didn't own very many suits, but this was one of them that he brought with him to the Soviet Union. And uh, it was, by all accounts, he was it didn't fit him very well and it was kind of a lousy suit, but here it is. And then most of us that know much about history know about the Lee Harvey Oswald. He was shot by Jack Ruby at the Dallas police station. This is the O'Neill ambulance that transported Lee Harvey Oswald after that shot. This is the inside of it. Usually they have a documentary going that tells the, uh, the story about how this car was obtained and all that stuff. But it was believed that right back here in the back of this ambulance was where Lee Harvey Oswald took his final breaths. It's just pretty fascinating. And there he is right there, being loaded in. Now, before Oswald was captured, he took refuge in a movie theater. This is one of the seats from the movie theater. And Jack Ruby's suit and Officer Nick McDonald, who was the arresting officer of Lee Harvey Oswald, this is his actual police suit, or his uniform, I should say. And they have Jack Ruby's shoes. And his hat. And just down here, they also have Jack Ruby's backup gun. And a gun from a Dallas police officer. So much neat stuff. Original license plate from the ambulance right back here that took Oswald to Parkland Hospital, the same hospital where JFK was pronounced. So much neat stuff here. But this is just one of many, many exhibits here at Historic Auto Attractions. And be sure, if this is your first time on this channel, be sure to subscribe for future videos. We do a lot of historic sites. We do a lot of Hollywood stuff, cemetery tours, you name it, we do it. But thanks so much for watching.